What a fantastic question. That's the best question I've ever been asked. Thank you. Uh, well, here it is. Here's, I just finished this one yesterday. Oh, look, Mr. Peterson's been hiding these in here. This is an ongoing joke. I hid them in his, uh, in his rollerblades. And now they're in my bubble catcher. Okay, so this one, it's got, we just flicked through it. There's quite a lot of writing, but there's also quite a lot of doodling. Sometimes if I'm feeling a bit bored, if I'm in a meeting or something, I just doodle on them. And let's see what it's got in here. I'll just random. Let's go around. This one says, Which people are you most interested in? Guards, East Germans, West Germans, the government. That's from when I was doing some work in grade five, and I was helping to teach grade five, so these are the questions that we were asking students. So it's ideas for teaching, and it's lists, and yeah, so like this is a list from the camp when we went to Madagun in grade four, all the lists of things that we were supposed to be doing. So it's lists, drawings, ideas, look at that drawing. Look at that drawing. That's just a drawing. It says big dog. I don't know why I did that drawing. <laughs> so it's all sorts of random things. Question number two. two cups of coffee every day, but now I'm only drinking one cup of coffee every day, because coffee's not actually that healthy for you. But I, I still like it. It's very delicious. It makes me feel good and happy. Where can I get a coffee now? Do you got some coffee? Come on. Do you have some questions, Diane? Go ahead. Do you want to sit in Ken's seat? Okay. Thank you, Ken. So that I can keep all my rubbish on it. As you can see, it's where I keep my rubbish. Like this, which actually I've never seen before in my life. It's the first time I've seen that. And this banana. Yeah. And some pencils, just randomly here. Another bubble catcher. Some lists. Positive postcard. Dear Mr. Sam. Your handshake is getting better. You are very brave. I love you. Love Trinity. Wow. So I have a desk to keep myself organized, as you can see. Why do you go a meeting with Mr. Peterson? I don't know. I ask myself that question every day. No, I go to... <laughs> I go to meetings with Mr. Peterson so that we can make all sorts of decisions about the school. But wait, just wait a minute, I'll show you something. Look at this. This is the meeting I was just in with Mr. Peterson. These are all the things that we have to talk about. Look at that. What a load of stuff. Maths, mindfulness, social studies, reading. 
Miss Ainsley, what's she doing these days? We don't know. All sorts of stuff. Why do you have an office room? I guess it's so that I can hide in here and do some work sometimes. But I don't like being in here. It's a horrible place. Horrible. Look at it. Your dad used to live in this room. And he didn't like it either. Do you remember when this was your dad's office? Yeah. And when, when he said, well, when we found out we were coming to have this office, your dad said, oh, no, you don't want that office. It's horrible. And he's right. It's horrible. Nice and loud, Cayenne, so we can hear you. Do you do? What? Do, what was the middle bit? What else? What else do you do? Um, I do a lot of walking around the school and taking pictures and seeing what all the kids are doing in the school. Like Kenneth's dad? A bit like Kenneth's dad. You know, only probably more. Because he has even more to do than I do. Do you have any other questions? Anything else you want to ask him? I have a computer, that's a good question, because many reasons. Number one, email. Do you know what email is? Yeah? I get loads of emails. Here's my email. Look. Oh, my mouse has stopped working. There's my email. So these are all the emails I've received today. Is it a lot, Ken? ones in black are the ones I haven't read yet. It's about 8,000 of those. Does he have a lot of black ones? So loads and loads and loads. Um, and then I also have a computer so that I can use... Hey, you asked me a question. Come on. I also have a computer so that I can go on the internet and do things on the internet, like on Firefly. Do you know what Firefly is? What is it? It's got the class blog on it, yeah. And, and Miss Cameron told me that some you wrote on the class blog. I did. I did. I wrote some questions on there. You didn't see them yet? I see it. You see it? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, yes, Firefly, stuff like that, and then the internet. And also I make things on the computer, so I might make documents with Word or I make videos and stuff like that. But if I'm making videos, I use that computer out there because mm -hmm. it's better. Do you do mindfulness in here? That's a really, you are. Very good question. That was questions. made up on the spot. Straight out of the air. Yeah. Do you know what? I, do, I go and do mindfulness in classrooms, but I've actually been thinking we should switch all the lights off in this office and we should do our own mindfulness. And Miss Yao should too. Right, Yao? Yeah. yeah, right, she says. You know, you've given me a fantastic idea. We're just going to start doing mindfulness in here. Anything else, boys? More. There's got to be more questions. Why do you have a computer? Oh, that's interesting, yeah. This is a, a very old painting that was done by my mum. And I think Miss Kelly, do you remember Miss Kelly? Yeah. Yeah, Miss Kelly borrowed it for her classroom. And uh, then she was finished with it, and so she just dumped it in here. And you can see lots of people dump things in here. Uh, and I've forgotten to take it home. This is a painting that my mum did from the balcony my apartment when we lived in Bangladesh. Do you know where Bangladesh is? 
It's not far away. Close to Thailand, close to India. Yeah? It's only two hours on a plane from, from Bangkok. Yeah, that's, that's another good question. Thanks, thanks for this. This is great. <laughs> we can yeah, look at all that. You know what? I need a bit of a tidy up, don't I? So this is some stuff down here. Oh dear. Oh, this is a drawing in here. This is a drawing. Let's see what it is. Can you pull me in? Yeah, you hold that in. Right, see, wow. this is what happens. That's a uh -uh. drawing that I did in China. Is it in China? You've got all old buildings, beautiful old buildings and lanterns, and then you've got big, horrible, ugly factories. It's, they're next to each other. So I did a drawing that was all about that, and then I lent it to Miss Kelly for her classroom, and then her students trashed it. And then holes in it. Did you know that Mr. Sam drew big pictures like that? No, something new. Yeah. So some of it's drawings and some of it's for work, school stuff, and some of it's just mess. Like a lot of this stuff down here is just mess. All this stuff. What is all this? What is all this stuff? I think Mr. Chad has been dumping stuff down here. Yeah, he What's the next question? Why do you do what Mr. K, Mr. K over here? Why? Why do you uh, have Mr. K over here? Uh, Mr. K. Mr. K. Mr. K. Because we have to share this office, and when we came in, this was the only way we could fit these two huge desks in this room, was to have one here and one here. And Miss K is more important than me, so... We thought it would be better for her to be facing the door so that she can deal with all of the things that people have to have problems with. That was my idea anyway. Because that's when they walk in, they see her face, and so they say, What do I do about this? And I can just hide behind this corner right there. Sometimes I can go like this. <laughs> and nobody even knows I'm here. <laughs> Actually, I think I'll stay down there for the rest of the day. <laughs> Mr. Sam, silly. Get that count now. Stop. Have we learned a lot about Mr. Sam? <laughs> Kenneth, Cayenne, have we learned a lot about Thank Mr. You. Sam? Another one of those. Yeah, oh, another. <laughs> I think we've learned a lot, haven't we? Mm. What is this messy oh. one? <laughs> Okay, this is really interesting. This is a this is made of glass and you can write on it with whiteboard pens, yeah? And so we write down things that we have to remember. So these are all the things that we have to remember at the moment. But actually it's only a few of them. It's a good way to stay organized. Do you have a mouse that yeah, it it can control over here? Uh, even a glass, uh, anything. Do you have that mouse? Oh, that would be cool. My so brother you, had it. You mean, if I was using this mouse, actually it would control this? No, I, I said that this mouse can go up here and it can move up here. Right. In here. So if I was clicking on things on here, we could see it there. Yeah? Okay. No, unfortunately not. This is just for writing on with the, with the pen. And my brother has this mouse, and it can It can be in control over here. He can put it over here and control it. Whoa. Why does he have that? Is that in because his bedroom? No, he, that is, actually that is my baby and my computer and my brother's and and the mouse was his. The mouse was his. It's it's because it's his his birthday. I see. He's proud of his birthday. Oh. 
That'd be great if I could control what was going on up there with the mouse. Like if I wanted to delete something or move it around, I could move it around with the mouse. Or if I wrote on there, and then it actually came up on here too, that would be cool. Maybe you should invent that. Do you want to say thank you to Mr. Sam? Thank you. You're very confident. Well done. <laughs> But you've made me think now about how much I've got to tidy up. So I think